I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm here, let's do this. Oh, they're not going to see this coming. Either that or there's a ward in there. Oh! That works. Cool. <laughs> I didn't even need to put a point in anything. Cool. Oh, they were asleep at the wheel. That's adorable. So we are up against a Mordekaiser. I have not had this lane before, so... Hmm. We'll see. And the best part is I got some XP. I don't know if that's enough XP for me to actually gain a level off of this wave, but it might be. You missed. Cute, though. Boy, that's annoying. Ow. I don't want to fight. I said I don't want to fight, you asshole. Boy, he's annoying. The range on that ability is ridiculous. Ow. And, of course, the size is ridiculous. I'm dead. I am not dead. I am... No! You're kidding me! Wow. Wow! Okay, then. Wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting both of them to dive me under turret at this point. That was definitely unexpected. Sure would love a gank right about now. At least our bot lane got another kill. Two. Nice. I can I can do that, you know. Cool. So that works very well into Mordekaiser. It's a telegraphed hard CC, so I can just dash away from it. Or excuse me, I can take it and dash anyways. It's a very different effect. Of course, that ability's AoE is just massive. Ugh. With abilities with such a large area of effect, they sure have taken the skill out of skill shot. My Q doesn't have anywhere near the size of his. My E doesn't have anywhere near the size of this. Both of those abilities are much easier to land for him. He's got no flash. Uh, it should be. Cool. I'll live and she should have that, right? There it is. There it is. Thank you. Yeah. His only chance was to kill me and then get out, but please help me push this out. Thank you. I'm actually not going to back in that brush. Alright, let's get a long sword and 
Kindle gem. That was just what I needed. Right now you're banning Mord. I was banning Mord for a while, but I kind of wanted to actually lane against one, so I stopped. Maybe after this game I'll go back to banning Mord, but Aurelia is my go-to ban. She's the champion I have the least fun against. Oh dear, their Twitch just got a double. That's really bad. That's really bad. Twitch scales really hard, and he's one of the best team fighting champions in the game. That would have been really nice if I'd actually hit him with that. Would have put him right under the turret. Yeah, that's a that skill shot isn't really a skill shot. It's fucking massive. Why isn't Swain's E that big? I don't get it. Why did they give Mord the easier ability? Like by far easier ability. Also more flexible. Nidalee again. I don't think the Nidalee likes me. Or she figures the Mord can carry her. Come on, my Q did so little damage. The weird part is that Urga actually has a good win rate into Aurelia. It's just, I can't stand that champion. I don't do well against her, and when you don't do well against her, she shits on you. And then shits on your whole team. Oh dear god, I'm probably dead. I can't I can't do anything. Yeah, that ultimate is the most BS ability Riot has ever made. Intensely bullshit. Unimaginably poorly designed. Catastrophic. Riot should seriously consider firing whoever thought of that ability. Because it is such bad, it, it, it's such, it's such bad game design that it pulls the game down with it. Because who the fuck wants to be on the other side of that ability? I need to get a QSS early to just get rid of it. Now that I think about it, it's basically like a pre rework Poppy's ultimate combined with Camille ult. Only you don't have the ability to knock Mordekaiser out of his ult, only QSS. So it's actually a more BS version, more BS version of a combination of both of those ultimates. Oh, and throw in a mini Trundle ult too, because he steals 10% of your stats. That one ability is more overloaded than any ultimate in the game, I think. More ripe for abuse than any other ability in the game. Wow, you took a lot of damage there. Which rework was worse than this one, or is 2015 rework? Um, his 2015 rework was dumb, but it wasn't it wasn't broken by any means. This this thing is just not fun. I've had fun times against the old uh, Mordekaiser. Not many of them, but I've had them. The old Mord wasn't fun either. But at least he was a uh, at least he wasn't just inherently broken. Can you stop doing that. It's not gonna work. It's really annoying, though, because my abilities cost more. And, oh yeah, his don't. Shut 
Yes, hilariously bad game design. Turret won't help me, huh? Like, that is such BS right there. I can't do anything except wait to die! Fuck that ability. Fuck the designer who thought of it. In fact, no, don't fuck the ability. Fuck the designer who thought of it. I can't, I can't be angry at the game. I have to be angry at the game designer. Because it's the game designer who made the game this way. He's the one who fucked it up. Yes, fuck the game designers who mangled their game. Yeah, I'm banning Mordekaiser from here on out. I don't want to lane against this ever again. This isn't fun. This just isn't fun. Just casually shits on me on those trades. All that with just a blasting one. He's about to have a, uh, a Rylize. I'm fucked. Cause I'm not gonna have. Uh, I'm not gonna have my uh, Black Cleaver yet. I don't know how Riot manages to fuck their game up so badly. They can hire the best designers in the industry. Why does it feel like they're scraping from the bottom? Is this just what happens when a company gets too big, too confident in their own success? They forget what it is that made them successful? Kidding me. Now she's gonna survive because of it. Wow. My ult actually saved her life. She would have died if I didn't ult her. I needed to ult him instead. Let the turret kill her. Wow. I fucked that up. I fucked that one up. I wonder, does Merc Treads reduce the duration of his ultimate? Or does that not count as hard CC? Damn. I screwed that up. I could have killed them both. That was a misplay on my part. This is one of those times where my ultimate actually saved someone. It's like one in a hundred or one in a thousand. Very, very rare. You almost never see your ultimate being the factor that kept them alive. That's exactly what that was. Damn. Well, I'm not going to be able to fight him until I'm at least 13. My lane's dead as well. I'm, I'm behind two levels. Damn, our bot lane, which started off so well, is now really far behind. The Elise is fed, but that... Elise's don't carry games, unfortunately. Elise doesn't scale. I still can't run away. Okay, I'm out. Am I out? Am I out? Yes, I am out. Wow, fuck that ability. Seriously. Fuck that piece of shit ability. Nothing I can do about it. That 
We'll do it. Come on. There it is. No. No. You're kidding me. I really needed that kill. Couldn't quite burst him down fast enough. Well, at least my ultimate did ensure he would die. Seriously, I, I have to ask the question. Does no one at Riot play their own game? I have played. This is the first time I've actually laned against a Mordekaiser. The first time he used that ultimate on me, I thought, wow, this is one of the least fun experiences I've ever had playing this game. The first time he did it. It didn't even take, like, multiple tries before I'm like, wow, this is BS. No. The first fucking time he did it. And I thought, wow, this is broken beyond belief. Every time he used it afterwards made me feel, basically, like that was the truth. This is gonna hurt. Oh, oh. Nice. Nice try there. Nice try there. You guys need to be careful. Well, he's about to put you. We should just back away from this. I win, sucker. Who's here? Oh! Did, you, did the fear go off? I have to know, did the fear go off? Because I killed him in the Shadow Realm. But the question is, did the fear hit the people that I was around? Because I knew they were there, even though I couldn't see them. Oh, fuck. Did it go off? If she doesn't tell me, I'm just going to watch the replay and find out. Oh, it did. The fear did work. Awesome. Dude, that's exciting. Even without seeing them, getting your ult and killing the Mordekaiser, you will get a fear off of it. That's amazing. So cool. So, we just learned a new tech with Urgot. Against what is now probably the most BS champion in the game. But yeah, I'm now, I guess I'm now at the point where I can actually take him 1v1. Although he was at 30% when he ulted me, which was the mistake, I think. Also, curious, when he ults you, does he steal it as max health or, cur or does he just steal it as healing? When he gets your stats. There's no point, dude. Just let me get the turret. The team wasn't in position. If I teleported, it would have been too late. I can get this turret. I mean, I'm going to get a turret for that dragon. It's not bad. It wasn't infernal, but... I really don't think my teleport would have necessarily gotten anything. This did get something. Like, if the whole team was there and ready to fight and there was a ward in position, I would have gone. For it. You want to follow that? sure, but I'm still going to fucking take the kill. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Mord's taking him to the Shadow Realm. Oh, wait. 
wait, 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 keep running, keep, oh, he's dead, oh, he's dead, <laughs> team was in no position to be able to help him there. You were sure it did go up and it was wrong, oh, boo, alright, so I guess the fear doesn't work, that's unfortunate, I'm sad now. I went from happy to sad to happy to sad. I don't want to lose the turret. Turret's low. So yes, I will TP to it. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why people think turrets are a safe place when you're up against an Urgot. Wait, what just happened? Did they just three-man Baron? Are you kidding me? They just three-man Baron. Alright, well, whatever. I'm gonna kill this Mordekaiser 1v1. Uh, that was good. All right, Mord, let's do it. I think I'm stronger than you now. You've got two items, I've got two items. Let's see who's actually stronger. The answer is me. By a very large margin, I might add. Oh, I didn't hit him. It's not even close. He can't fight me at all. If I had my ultimate earlier, I just would have killed him. Cool. As to be expected, at 13, Urgot outscales everyone. And now that I've got Death's Dance, it ensures I won't lose a 1v1 versus him ever again. For all intents and purposes, he needs to fear me. If he does anything other than respect the absolute shit out of me, I am going to murder him. I will make him feel every last bit of it. Just gonna back away. I don't know who else might be coming. More spot. You want it? Damn it! If my ult landed, I would have killed him and survived. Hmm. That's the problem when it comes to abilities like that that put them literally on top of you. You have no idea whether your abilities are going to land. It's a pure guesswork. I was guessing and hoping that that would hit him. My timing was right. It missed. That, for all intents and purposes, that's like a 50-50 smite. Only that it's not my skill versus his, it's my luck versus his. Because it's all luck when you have no idea where they're actually going to be at the end. Or does he appear behind me? Did I fire the wrong direction? Well, am I actually being an idiot here? You know, just lie to me. Tell me I wasn't being an idiot and it, it appeared and he is exactly on top of me, please. Yes, yeah, he... He appears exactly behind you from the point of his castle. Then I'm an idiot. Damn it! Why couldn't you lie to me? I don't want to feel dumb. Thank you so much, Wasted Wanderer, for the subscription. Thank you. Much appreciated, good sir. <laughs> You've not figured out why you love watching it, but you do. Awesome. That's all that matters. Not the why, just the do. Oh, you fucking juked it. Damn it. God damn it, I nearly killed him too. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, in the 1v3 I still nearly pick up a... Oh, uh, nice try, Ez. Nice try. I don't need 
type anything. Let them think they're muted. It's it's more natural to hear them talk that way. Um, it's nice to see, though, the enemy team needs to invest so much in dealing with what was at the time a 3-7 Urga. The Shadow Realm, this is bad. Actually, she can be essentially invulnerable for an extended period of time. Yeah, he's dead. It's a very dead Mord. And now Galio is probably dead. Maybe not. They need to be careful. Oh, dear. Oh! Aww. Oh! Aww. I'm coming. Nice! Nice. Nice! They're all dead. Uh, shit. I'm gonna go cut the cut off his retreat. I'm not gonna make it in time, am I? Or am I? No! Better land that! Good. Don't die to him. Yes, they got it. Uh, do they? Yes. Fuck's sake, that was a lot harder than it needed to be! I mean, we did just get five kills. For the price of none? Did nobody die there? Yeah, you can't deal with me one-on-one -on -one anymore. Your ult is useless against me. I will kill you with it. Hmm. Oh, nice. That's a kill. Very nice hook. Yeah, that's free Baron. This is bad, we're gonna lose the inhib. Guys, quickly take this out. Deal with the fact we lost the inhib later. Ah! Oh. They're trying to split push us to death. It's not working. We've outscaled them now. Surprise! We're all here. Yep. Time to shove down bot lane. The way they're playing is complete desperation. They realize that they cannot fight us in, as a team, and that they will lose this game if they do not split us down. And this panic, it's starting to get big. Because every time they die now, those death timers get longer and longer. One more fuck up like this and we might just win. Where's the Zack at? Um, I'm not playing Zack unless I know who my lane opponent is. And there, because there's a lot of lane opponents that Zack is just no good against. But anytime I can, I will bring him. Absolutely. No, oh, your food. See? You're right, man. He does appear directly behind you. Thank you. Thank you for that help. Now suddenly I know exactly where he's going to be every time. That makes things so much easier. Ow. Oh, dear. Oh, God. That's... Oh, my righteous glory is back. Flash, it's good. Oh. Bad news, you're coming for me. Lunch! Appointment for two! Hmm. Eh, I wanna die. I'm kidding, I wanna die. Let's go. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> uh, you had too much help. Whatever. 
I got my meal. And a, and a second meal that came with it. Oh. Ooh! Oh my god, the pike! The Ezreal and pike- Oh, uh, he's dead. <laughs> I think. Ez got- No! Ez lost? Shit, run! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Whatever, we got the inhib right back, and we're doing a bunch of damage, and as you can see, they're not winning these fights. This is not a good situation for them. Their game- This game is going steadily downhill for them. Um, you know, one way or the other, I want this BF sword. I don't know what I want with, oh, yes, you know, we're going, we're going full blown super, we're going su full blown super carry now. I'm 799, which doesn't seem like a super carry score, but that's what I'm going to go for now. I wouldn't recommend this. Oh, never mind. I'm not coming. Okay, I'm coming. No. You wanted to fight, we get to fight. Anybody else want to fight? How about you? Would you like to fight, good sir? Good sir, would you like to fight? Come here. Come here, you. Oh, you're gonna give it to Ezreal. Seriously, dude, you're gonna give it to Ez. Give it to me. Eh, no. Oh, he's gonna give it to Ezreal. Kidding me. Okay, never mind. He killed the Ez. How did he win that? Seriously, fuck this champion. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, nice. That was very pretty. You know what? Let's go get my Bloodthirster. I'm not going to be able to end the game right now. Um, we get Bloodthirster, we'll figure out what I want later. You know, maybe a Blade of the Ruined King, just go for the full three heal trio. Oh, he's dead. Never mind, he's dead. Oof. <laughs> I love seeing the healing, the damage, and then the healing continue. That's actually kind of funny. I mean, I shit on their Twitch. It's not even fun. Are we not pushing as a team here? Anyone on their team foolish enough to walk forward? Oh, fuck, I'm just gonna kill them more. I don't need your help, dude. I got this. Damn it. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, see, so doing that against a pike who has plenty of mobility and CC, yeah, it's not going to work. You can just uh, run out the clock, and then you get nothing. Ooh. I got to cut. All right, that should be game. Yep. They needed to end the game, and they couldn't. They recognized earlier that this game was not one that they can win through traditional team fighting, and they tried to split push us down, but unfortunately for them, we keep ca we kept catching them. They kept dying. If they were only losing one life while Zed is pushing down an inhibitor, that's fine. If we get the Baron, and they pick up two turrets, and nobody dies, that's also fine for them. But too many, but we kept catching them, we kept getting kills. They were out of position. 
they couldn't properly split push because their team was never in the right position to properly split push. And then I just outscaled Mord hard. It was crazy seeing the Mord still manage to 1v1 the Ezreal. Ezreal at full health, the Mord at 20% of his health. And the Mord won that. Like, that just seems mind-boggling to me. Um, but yeah, that's Mord in a nutshell. Mind-boggling. Truly. I do not understand it. Um, I think the Elise was good. Hey, we did it! Flat. One. We did it. Now to make it to Diamond! Next goal, I ended 11-9-12. I was 3-8. and eight. I ended 11-9-12. How much damage did I do? Survey says, a lot. <laughs> yeah, Mord was their strongest carry, and I dwarfed his damage. That's the thing I love about Urgot at a certain point, his damage is supreme. Try as you might, Mord, you can't beat me in a 1v1 once I hit 13. At that point, it's already too late. If you haven't, if you have not farmed me enough, you're not going to get another chance. It felt real good. Just fighting him and seeing his health go down in big chunks. And me, I'm doing just fine. Very satisfying. Again, not the best game I could have had. I showed my stuff in the later portion of the game. If it wasn't how, for how well the Elise and the Pike were playing, I don't know if we ever would have made it there. The Pike was really good. The early game uh, invade was off of his good play, good hook. And 11-6-11 is a fantastic score. Not for a support, but for a fucking carry. That's 